properties of union and intersection. Okay, so let me share the screen and we'll discuss those properties here. So properties of union and intersection continued. Intersection continued. Right. We know that A, B, and E set, right? And we denote X by the universal set. This is our empty set. We know the A complement or the A is X such that X does not belong to A. This is what we have defined earlier, right? So similarly here, empty set means blank set. The complement of the blank set is a universal set. And the complement of the universal set is the empty set. So A intersection, A complement means no element is common between them, right? So it is just the empty set, blank set, right? A intersection X means the universal set is A, definitely. A, is, uh, in, uh, A intersection X is A. And A union X, is X because it is a complete universal uh, union. If it we are taking a union with the universal set, then it is a universal set. And A intersection with the empty set is the empty set because we are taking the intersection with the blank set and it is nothing but the blank set, right? A intersection, uh, uh, this universal set is this. Now, similarly, A intersection, empty is complement of empty set means A intersection X is A, right? So uh, it is this A and A intersection with the complement of universal set means A intersection empty is empty. And it is, how uh, we can say, complement of the universal set. This is what is here. Now we are coming to the properties that is distributive law. Distributive law. Let A, B, C be sets, right? Then a intersection B union C means the intersection is distributive over union is this, right? So we are going to, this is the first law, first distributive law, that is intersection distributive over union. Second is the union is distributive over intersection, right? So we can see uh, this uh, in our Venn diagram. We can see in our Venn diagram this this A intersection, this B union C. This is A, this is B, this is C. A, B, C. So B union C is this complete. And A intersection B union C is A intersection B union C is this only, right? And you can see easily that this is A intersection, A, A intersection, B union C is this, and you can see A intersection B is this, and uh, A intersection C is just this, and this is the union of these two. So this shows, this portion shows, right? This colors, this shade shows that A intersection B union C is A intersection B union A intersection C, 
right? Through the example, let A be having the elements one, two, three, four. B be consisting is four, five, six, seven. And the C be consisting this seven, eight, seven. Uh, it must be, I must take another, uh, that is three, seven, eight, nine. Three, seven, eight, nine. Right. Then the B union C is. B union C is. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And the A intersection B union C is. One, two, three, four. That is just the three, four. Right? So is three, four. And what is A intersection B? It is just four. What is A intersection C? It is just three. So this is means A intersection B union C is three, four. A intersection B union, A intersection C is three four, and which is A intersection B union C. Now we can prove logically that X belongs to this A intersection B union C. Means X belongs to A, and X belongs to B union C. B union C means X belongs to A and X belongs to B or X belongs to C. Means X, this is must that X is in, X belongs to A. So that means X belongs to A. It is intersection B union C. So you can see it is uh, uh, B union C means it, X can be either in B or in C or in intersection, right? So it is X belongs to A or X belongs to B. And X belongs to A or X belongs to C. Is this correct? No, but the end is with both. So it is incorrect. So let me write it is uh, this must be X A X C. X belongs to A and X belongs to B or X belongs to A and X belongs to, so this is correct, right? So that means X belongs to A intersection B or X belongs to A intersection C. And that means X belongs to A intersection B union A intersection C. Now, if X belongs to this union A intersection B and A, A union of A intersection B and A intersection C, means X belongs to A, A intersection B or X belongs to A intersection C. Means X belongs to A and X belongs to B or X belongs to A and X belongs to C. That means uh, this is X belongs to A and X belongs to B or X belongs to C, right? Because or is here, or is for this B and C. And this means that X belongs to A and X belongs to B unit C and this X is arbitrary. And this means that A intersection B union C is A intersection B union A intersection C. Right now we are coming to the second law of this distributor. That is union is distributive over intersection. Uh, this is A union B intersection. C is A union B intersection. A union C. Let F, this is firstly, let me uh, uh, draw a Venn diagram of this. Right, C, B and C. We have this. B intersection C is this. So A union B intersection C is 
this portion, right? It is A intersection, A union B intersection C. So it is this one. A intersection B union C. This is this. Right? A union B intersection C. So B intersection C is this portion and A is this. So this is this. Now what is A union B? A union B is this. A union C is this. And the intersection of this means A complete and this portion. So this shows that this is A union B intersection C and which is equal to A union B intersection A union C. Now we prove this by the example by taking A equal to by taking A equal to this one, two, three, four, and we take B as this four, five, six, seven, and we take C as two, four, eight, nine, right? So B intersection C is just two, and A union B intersection C is, sorry, B intersection C is not two, it's four. It's four, it's not two, it's four. It's four, right? A union B intersection C is, uh, this uh, is, this one, two, three, four, right? And now we can see this A union B. A union B is this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And A union C is one, two, three, four, eight, nine, right? So you can see this two, four are here. So that means A union C is just one, two, three, four, eight, nine. So what is uh, this, their intersection? A union B intersection A union C. It is one, two, three, four only. And this is A union B intersection C. So through example, it is clear that this union is distributive over intersection. Uh, now we prove logically. Let X belongs to A union B intersection C. Means X belongs to A or X belongs to B intersection C. Means it is either in A or in this. It can be in both, but but union is, we assume that this is either. So X belongs to A or X belongs to B and X belongs to C. So that means it is uh, either in A or in their intersection. Means X belongs to A or X belongs to B intersection and X belongs to A or X belongs to C. Agar wo a, if it is not in A, that means it is not here and it is not here. So that means it is in B and it is in C, that is B intersection C. Okay, so it's clear. So that means this X belongs to A union B intersection. X belongs to a union C, and which means that X belongs to A union B intersection, A union C. If X belongs to their intersection, means X belongs to A union B and A union C, means X belongs to A union B and X belongs to A union, which means that X belongs to A or X belongs to B, and X belongs to A or X belongs to C. X belongs to A, right? or X belongs to B and X belongs to C, right? Because if X is not belonging to B, A, it is belonging to B as well as belonging to C. So it is B and C. That means X belongs to A or X belongs to B intersection C, 
means X belongs to A union B intersection C. And which means that, and this X is arbitrary. And this gives us that A intersection B union C is A union B intersection A union C, right? Now we are coming to D Morgan's law. D Morgan's law. These laws are introduced, were introduced by D Morgan. So let A and B be sets. Then A intersection B complement is a complement union B complement, right? So we see uh, this through the Venn diagram. This is A, this is B. So intersection is this. That means this portion is A intersection B complement right so this this uh, this these lines shows that a intersection b complement and this is basically is the union of a complement and the b complement you can see a complement is this portion a complement is this not this uh -huh. a complement is starts here it is here 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 here, 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 here. And the B complement is the portion here. This one, this, these lines, these lines, these lines, and these lines, not the inserted lines, these lines. But the union is this. So we can take the example, let X be having the elements of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? And A, B having the elements one, two, three, four. And B, B having the elements this uh, three, four, five, six. Then the A intersection B is three, four only. Three, four. And a intersection B complement is X minus A intersection B. And X is the universal set is this. So three, four, minus. So we have, this is one, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? What is A complement? A complement is X minus A. So A complement is this, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What is B complement? B complement is one, two, seven, eight, nine. So the union of these two is one, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is A complement union B complement. Now the logically we will prove this, that X belongs to A intersection B complement. that X belongs to A intersection B complement. Miss X does not belong to A intersection B, right? Miss X does not belong to A and X does not belong to B, right? So that means X is neither in A nor in B. If it is neither in A nor in B, that means it is X does not belong to A, it is not in the intersection. So that means X does not belong to A intersection means if X is in A, then X is not in B. If X is in B, then X is not in A. So X does not belong to A or X does not belong to B. X does not belong to A intersection means X belongs, if X belongs to A, then X is not in B. If X belongs to B, then X is not in A. Means either X is, in, X is not in A or X is not in B. Yeah. 
and this means that x belongs to a complement or x belongs to b complement that means x belongs to a complement union b complement right so basically it means uh, this means that x belongs to a then x does not belongs to b and x belongs to b then x does not belongs to a that is the meaning of intersection that if it is not belonging to intersection means x does not belong to a or x does not belong to b right and if x belongs to this a complement union b complement means x belongs to a complement or x belongs to b complement means x does not belong to a or x does not belong to b that means x is not belonging to a intersection b right that means x belongs to a intersection b complement right so this is if and only and this x is arbitrary that means this gives us that this a intersection b complement is a complement union b complement right now the second part second part it is for the second part we take a union b complement and the second property says this must be a complement intersection b complement right so again with the diagram if you see the diagram right this is a this is b so a union b is this portion so a union b complement is this these lines right these lines this is a union b complement and you can see the a complement is this right and b complement is this and if we take the intersection so this is this this turns out to be this right this is what is here up we can take let x be equal to this you know, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Be the universal set consisting first natural or nine natural number, na first nine numbers of naturals. And uh, a, let a be just 1, 2, 3, 4. And b be the set consisting the elements 3, 4, 5, 6, right? Then A union B is this one, two, three, four, five, six. And A union B complement is X minus A union B. And which means it is minus, 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 minus. This is just the seven, eight, nine. Right? This is seven, eight, nine. And what is A complement? A complement is X minus A. So it is five, six, seven, eight, nine. What is B complement? It is one, two, seven, eight, nine. And what is A complement? Intersection B complement is seven, eight, nine. So this is so. Now logically. Let X belongs to A union B complement. Means X does not belongs to A union B. That means X is not in A because if it is not in union, that means it is neither in A and not in B. X does not belong to A and X does not belongs to B. Right? It means that X belongs to A complement and X belongs to B complement, right? And which means that X belongs to A complement intersection B complement. If X belongs to their intersection, that means X belongs to A complement and X belongs to B complement. That means X does not belong to A and X does not belong to X. And if it is not belonging to A, not belonging to B, this cannot be in union. 
isotopes. And this X is arbitrary. That means A union B complement. Equal to. A complement intersection B complement. Now we are coming to the another properties. Another properties that these are the properties with the difference. Right? So we are coming to another properties. Let A, B, C be sets. These are the properties of difference. Right? Uh, let me write properly. Some more properties we can write. Properties. Right? Let A, B, C be the set. B sets. And then A minus B union C. Is A minus B intersection. A minus C. You can see. Through the. This. A, B, C. So B union C is this. And A minus B union C is this motion. It's subtracting B union C part. Is the solution. Right. So this shade shows this A minus B unit C. Right. And this is A minus B is uh, just uh, A minus B is this part. A minus C is this part. Right. And the intersection of this is just this. This is A minus B intersection A minus C. Through the example. Let A be the set consisting of one, two, three, four. B be the set consisting the element this four, five, six, seven. And C be the set consisting the element two, seven, eight, nine. Right? Then the B union C is B union C is this two, four, five, six, seven, A, nine. And then A minus B union C is, is two and four are common here. So we subtract two, we subtract four. So it is one and three only. What is A minus B? A minus B from here, this four is common. So we subtract that. This is just one, two, three. A minus C. This two is common. So we subtract this two. This is one, two, one, three, four. And intersection of that is one, three only. A minus B intersection. A minus C is one, three only, right? And which is A minus B union C. So logically, it's logical proof. Let X belongs to A minus B union C. Miss X belongs to A and X does not belong to B union C. Miss it is what? It means that X belongs to A and X belongs to B union C complement. According to D Morgan, we can write X belongs to A and X belongs to B intersection C. B complement intersection C complement. Means X belongs to A and X belongs to B complement and X belongs to C complement. So I can write this as X belongs to A and X belongs to B complement. 
and x belongs to A and x belongs to C complement, right? So that means I can say this x belongs to A and x does not belong to B and x belongs to A and x does not belong to C. And which means that x belongs to A minus B and x belongs to A minus C. That means x belongs to A minus B intersection, A minus C. If x belonging to A minus B intersection, A minus C, means x belongs to A minus B and x belongs to A minus B means x belongs to A and x does not belong to B, x belongs to A and x does not belong to C. That means x belongs to A and x belongs to B complement, x belongs to A and x belongs to C complement. So we can re uh, rewrite this as x belongs to A and x belongs to B complement and x belongs to C complement. It's x belongs to A and x belongs to their intersection. So B complement, intersection C complement x belongs to A and x belongs to, this is according to De Morgan, this is B union C complement. That means x does, x belongs to A and x does not belongs to B union C. And this x is arbitrary. And this gives us that A minus B union C equal to A minus B intersection A minus C, right? Now we are coming to the another property of that second property of difference, right? With the intersection. A minus B intersection C. This must be A minus B union A minus C, right? So according to the Venn diagram, if you see the Venn diagram, according to the Venn diagram, this is A, this is B, this is C. B intersection C is just this part. B intersection C is just this part. A minus B intersection C means uh, this is B intersection C. So A minus B intersection C is this part. A minus B intersection C is this, this portion. The sheet shows A minus B intersection C. A minus B intersection C. If you see on the other end, what is A minus B? A minus B is your this uh, A minus B is here, this part, right? And A minus C is your, uh, this part. And the union of this is this, right? So this is union of this, this is. So you can see A minus B union, A minus C. Now the mathematically, let A be equal to this one, two, three, four. And this B be equal to this, uh, this four, five, six, seven, and this C be equal to two, seven, eight, nine. Then B intersection C is this is seven, and A minus B intersection C means nothing will be subtracted. So it is one, two, three, four, right? Uh, then we can see what is A minus B. A minus B is, this four is common. So that means just one, two, three, right? A minus C is, this two is common. So it is one, three, four. And A minus B union, A minus C is one, two, three, four, which is 
a minus b intersection c. So this is true. Now, logically, we will prove this. Let x belongs to a minus b intersection c, right? That means x belongs to a and x does not belong to b intersection c. Means x belongs to a and x belongs to b intersection c complement. And this means x belongs to a and according to De Morgan's law, this means x belongs to b complement union c complement, right? That means x belongs to a is must and x belongs to b complement or x belongs to c complement. So that means x belongs to a and x belongs to b complement or this is must. So x belongs to a and x belongs to c complement. Means x belongs to a and x does not belong to x belongs to a and x does not belong to b or x belongs to a and x does not belong to c, right? So that means x belongs to a minus b or x belongs to a minus c. Means x belongs to a minus b union a minus c, right? Now, so if x belongs to this a minus b union a minus c, means x belongs to a minus b or a minus c means x belongs to a and x does not belong to b x belongs to a and x does not belong to c so that means x belongs to a is mass so or we can write x belongs to a and x belongs to b complement or x belongs to a and x belongs to c complement so rewriting this line again okay. and x belonging to a is mass so that means x belongs to a and x belongs to b complement or x belongs to c complement means x belongs to A and x belongs to B complement union C complement. Means x belongs to A and x belongs to B complement union C complement according to De Morgan's is B intersection C complement. Means x does x belongs to A and x does not belong to B intersection C means x belongs to A minus B intersection C and this x is arbitrary. And this means that A minus B intersection C is A minus B union A minus C, right? So I must stop here that uh, from my side, this uh, properties are completed, right? So let me stop here.